I'm David King. I work for Scott's Framing, and uh, we're here at this uh, so this site here with this old barn. Uh, it's in pretty bad shape. It wouldn't take much for it to be on the ground. It's uh, it's had this damage for a while. It's just been sitting there. It's a wonder it ain't done fail. But uh, the owner decided to try to salvage it, save it. Uh, so we're gonna try to jack it up best we can, get it back in the back to its original position. Uh, replace this block wall and whatever uh, damaged wood we can find. Hey, we got all kind of shit up in the way here. You can see it's just uh, a mess. Hooking a chain to the stuff we can, dragging it out of the way, the other stuff is lifting up. Gotta have some working room. Yeah, hell yeah. That bitch done got into the bumblebees. Got him on the got him on the ankle and on the shoulder. He yeah, got him pretty good. He's pushing something, a post or something. No, it's just a big row of blocks. I said that's why they used to do the concrete footings for the post because, uh, you know, years ago when this uh, barn was built here, they didn't have pressure treated pine or anything like that. Uh, the most common thing they used for posts, these right here look like just regular red oak. You set that post in the ground, pour concrete around it, it just rot real quick. So they got these little concrete piers and uh, formed them up, poured the concrete in it so the post would sit on top of them. You come up, yeah. Come up about four in. Yeah, right. it held. Did it hold? Yeah, it sunk that block up a little bit. A lot of load on it. We gotta come up by seven inches. Can't get it all at once. Cause we every time we lift, we're changing the loads hey, everywhere. All clear? Yeah. Let me bump that fork up just a little bit. He's gonna bump that fork. 
He's going to raise it up a little bit with the fork. Yeah, gonna I'll see. Yeah. Is it? That's good, though. It's good. It's moving in. Let everything get settled in right there real quick. That one. You got to pick it up that far. A lot of times you can't get it all at once. Or at least it wouldn't be safe to. We scratched it up right there at the ladder. It's still got to come up, son. Yeah. That's good though. Yeah. What these are, these are uh, tear, called tear rails. They was used in these uh, tobacco barns years ago to, to, uh, well, to walk on and to stack the tobacco in there where it could dry. These were just some leftover ones that uh, things were always constantly breaking. So they usually kept a few on hand to make repairs. So we had a good little, nice little stack of them in here. So they're working real well for our scotches, props, temporary posts. Yep. Plenty of popping going on now. Come on, you doing it? Come on! You got her, you moved it by two or three inches. I believe it still gotta go a little bit. Well, we don't have a whole lot to go by right here. But we know we're right up there. All right, and we're pretty sure we're close on this end. So all we did was put a line up, and now we're just gonna yeah, David, I'm gonna put a brace at each uh, post. We got them off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's moving it. There you go, you moving it. You moving it. Uh, hold on, this tear rail is going to come out. Watch your head, John. It's that tear rail over here. It's going to fall off. Oh, yeah, you're getting it. No, you just keep on, keep on going. Yeah, if the tear rails gonna fall. Watch those heads. Right here, look. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Let it fall. <coughs> I 
Keep on going, Clay. Hey, you might have to go by where my rafters are sitting. Sixty nine a quarter. I thought what the mud was over, wasn't it? Sixty nine something. Yeah, sixty nine. Well, that's close enough. Seventy, so we're for half inch too high. Well, that's all right. All right, there, Karen. Love. I think it ain't nothing but mud. That's all it is, buddy. Y'all probably be in the rebar a little bit if you had to. Oh, drop it down. Wait a minute, we gotta get this line back up. Just leave it alone, right? Get it out of the way. Yeah, come and have a look. You can't get it over the lift, you gotta do it the old fashioned way. Pry bars and jacks and wedges. Now straight back this way. 